Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Now, as we all know, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl are the new Generation 4 remakes coming out this year in 2021, as well as Pokemon Legends Arceus coming out in 2022. One of the biggest recent topics, however, though, is will Mega Evolution be in the new games? There's already a lot of evidence to suggest this, and so in today's video, I wanted to go over 10 new Mega Evolutions that we need to see. If you guys are excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's hit 500 likes. Leave a comment which Pokemon would you love to see get a Mega Evolution in the new games. And of course, subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on the channel. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video and take a look at some cool new Mega Evolutions we'd love to see. So obviously starting things off, why do we think that Mega Evolution is going to be in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Well, Mega Evolution was introduced to the Pokemon series during Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. This form of temporary evolution is an enhanced ability gained when a trainer has a special bond with a capable Pokemon. Mega Evolution would go on to be included in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, as well as Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Not to even forget Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Go, all of them. Now, because Mega Evolution has been part of both the Hoenn and Kanto remakes in recent years, there is a chance that the special evolutionary forms will make a reappearance in the upcoming remake for Sinnoh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Now, according to PokeShopper on Twitter, players can expect to see official promotional figures of Mega Lucario and Mega Charizard X available to purchase in the future. The use of Mega Evolution in promotional items for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl suggest that developers are going to be including the mechanic in the remakes. As well as that, we already have a few Mega Evolutions native to Sinnoh as well from other regions such as Alakazam, uh, Gyarados, as well as the Sinnoh Mega Evolutions as well such as Lopunny. So anyway, today let's go over 10 new Mega Evolutions that I would love to see. So, starting things off, we're obviously going to be going over the three Sinnoh starter Pokemon being Torterra, Infernape and Empoleon. These have to get a Mega Evolution if they are to come back in the new remakes. And we're going to be starting off with Torterra. Now, all of this information is taken from Pokemon DB. Will be linked in the description down below. Really cool website to see all the stats, move pools, your weaknesses, your strengths. Anything you need to know about any Pokemon whatsoever. We're starting off with Torterra though. And here are the stats of the grass type star Pokemon. It has 95 HP, 109 attack, 105 defense. 75 special attack, 85 special defense, and 56 speed. So if this Pokemon were to get a Mega Evolution, I think it's pretty safe to say that they would probably up the attack and the defense stats of this Pokemon. Maybe sprinkle a little bit of it in special defense as well, but I think they would just mainly concentrate on making Torterra a much more bulkier Pokemon. It already has a very terrible typing in grass and ground, being four times weak to ice, obviously weak to fire, uh, flying bug, only resistant to ground and rock as well. It is immune to electric, which is always very nice. But having a quad weakness does make you a little bit of a meh Pokemon in my eyes, unless obviously like a pseudo legendary like Garchomp or something like that. But obviously because Torterra is so slow, having a quad weakness isn't great. So it isn't seen as a very good Pokemon. So obviously with that in mind, a Mega Evolution would be very welcomed to the Grass Star Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Coming up next, we're going to be talking about the Fire Type Starter Pokemon Infernape from Sinnoh. It has a very nice stat distribution, 108 in speed, 71 in the defenses, and then it has a split stat distribution in attack and special attack, both having 104. If this Pokemon were to get a Mega Evolution, I could definitely see them giving all the stats into speed and then probably attack and special attack as well. You can run this Pokemon in any way you want, special or physical. It is a very, very good Pokemon. Also gets the ability Iron Fist. Usually when they get a Mega Evolution though, that does change. Don't really know what you'd give it to make it stronger. I would honestly just keep Iron Fist on it. It is very, very good ability to have on a Pokemon. But yeah, Mega Infernape, I definitely would love to see. I think most people would as well. The star Pokemon need to be getting more love, in my opinion. Coming up next, we have the final starter Pokemon from Sinnoh being Empoleon, a water steel Pokemon. It has a very nice stat distribution as well. It has 86 in physical attack, 88 physical defense, 111 special attack, 101 special defense, and then 60 speed. So quite a slow Pokemon, but because it is a water steel type, just look at those type 
advantages it has. It is only weak to electric fighting ground. It's immune to poison and then resists normal water, ice by four, flying, psychic, bug, rock, dragon, steel, fairy. So many resistances on this Pokemon. So if this was to get a mega evolution and then maybe boost up its defenses even more, and it already has a very nice special attack stat of 111, this could easily become the best starter Pokemon. The only thing that does let it down is its speed, obviously, but, but obviously it does get Aqua Jet. Now I know that's not a special type move, but obviously it does have priority which is always nice can get you out of a sticky situation but yeah i think empoleon could become a very very good pokemon if it were to get a mega evolution even better than what it is already now Coming up next, we have the flying type Pokemon, Staraptor. Now, this is a normal flying type Pokemon, meaning it has two immunities to ghost and ground. But just look at that stat distribution. It has 120 physical attack and then 100 speed as well. If Staraptor were to get a mega evolution, I think they would just unload all of those extra stats into speed and physical attack. This Pokemon doesn't really care about defenses because its main job is to just come in, destroy what is in front of it, and then just get out of there, especially with the abilities intimidate and reckless as well reckless is very very nice for moves such as double edge and brave burn and whatever and then intimidate obviously it is nice to lower that physical attack stat by one stage of the opposing pokemon but yeah giving this pokemon more speed and physical attack would make it even more of a monster and staraptor could be even better and as well as that i could even see them making the typing of this pokemon uh, fighting and flying now we already do obviously have one of those in Holucha, but i think fighting flying would definitely suit this pokemon either way staraptor needs a mega evolution in pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl coming up next as the pokemon that i think needs a mega evolution out of any pokemon on this list is one of my favorite pokemon of all time luxray the electric type pokemon getting it very early on as a Shinx in literally the first route, this Pokemon has been a staple on my Sinnoh team for as long as I can remember. It is just a pure electric type for whatever reason, don't really know, but obviously its stat distribution is 80 HP, 120 physical attack, so just like Staraptor, 79 defense and special defense, 95 special attack, and then 70 speed. So what lets this down is obviously the speed stat. I think they need to just absolutely amp that up with a mega evolution maybe making it to base 100 and then giving it a little bit more physical attack as well this pokemon is an absolute monster if it would just get a little bit more help in the speed stat because it gets access to some really really good moves obviously the elephant in the room as well is why this pokemon is not a dark type it has so so many dark type moves as you can see there it learns bite and crunch just through level up but obviously can learn snarl fake tears uh thief from tm it obviously gets night slash as an egg move and then crunch there and throat chop uh from tr like this pokemon can learn so many dark type moves and it literally looks like an electric dark type pokemon like if you were to show this to someone that had never seen it before they would think electric dark or most people would looks rain needs a mega evolution change its typing give it what it has wanted since it first made its appearance in pokemon diamond and pearl coming up next we have the grass poison type pokemon roserade now being a grass poison type obviously the type advantage and disadvantage is kind of neutral you know it's weak to fire flying and psychic and obviously ice but it is also resistant to water electric grass fighting and fairy the special attack on this pokemon is through the roof it has 125 but as well as that it also has 105 special defense and then 90 speed as well so quite bulky on the special side and a relatively fast pokemon as well with the 90 speed stat now obviously the physical side of things are what let this pokemon down but obviously every pokemon has its disadvantages if it were to get a mega evolution again i think the speed and special attack will just fly through the roof maybe sprinkle a little bit in special defense as well just to make it a little bit more bulky on the special side but roserade is a really really cool pokemon i really really like it it's one of my favorite grass types in Sinnoh. and for it to get a mega evolution i think is something that a lot of people would love to see coming up next we have the two fossil type pokemon being rampados and Bastiodon. We're going to be taking a look at Rampardos first with one of the most insane attack stats you're ever going to see. Look at that blue bar, 165 physical attack. Now, of course, what lets this Pokemon down is its speed stat. It's also got very bad defenses as well, being 60 in physical defense and 50 in special defense. A stab move from this will pretty much oko whatever you have in front of you because it's just the sheer attack stat on this Pokemon is so overwhelming. So if it were to get a mega evolution, I don't think they even need to increase the physical attack stat that much because it's already so, so high. So maybe just flood it all into speed just to give this Pokemon even more of an overwhelming presence in competitive. A fast Rampardos would be ridiculous 
ridiculous because like I say, he already hits so, so hard. Rampardos is a really cool Pokemon as well. And not only that, we're not even strangers to fossil Pokemon getting Mega Evolutions. Aerodactyl getting one in Generation 1. It could happen. There's no like law to say, oh, because they're a fossil, they can't get one. We already have a fossil with a Mega Evolution. So yeah, Rampardos, I would love to see Mega Evolve in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Coming up next is its counterpart, Bastiodon, the Rock Steel type Pokemon. Obviously having that Steel typing is very, very nice because it is immune to poison is resistant to normal ice dragon fairy rock bug psychic and flying however though it is quad weak to fighting and ground which isn't great but it does make up for those quad weaknesses with its overwhelmingly disgusting physical and special defense stat being 168 and 138 now this pokemon if it were to get a mega evolution all i could really see is them just boosting that defense even more maybe a little bit more in the hp stat but that's what this pokemon does it is supposed to eat up hits for breakfast and that is exactly what it does so if a mega evolution were to arrive for this pokemon i think they would just amplify how good it is at taking hits it is a really cool pokemon it is literally a shield as a face so it has to be able to eat all those hits even more but yeah bastiodon and rampados i would love to see get mega evolutions in the new generation 4 remakes Coming up next, we have Spiritomb, the ghost dark type Pokemon. Now, of course, before Generation 6, this Pokemon didn't have a weakness because it is only weak to Fairy, which was introduced in Generation 6. Spiritomb is a very special Pokemon. Obviously, in Sinnoh, you have the odd Keystone, which obviously summons um, Spiritomb. And as well as that, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, we have the event with Spiritomb as well. So it's obviously been in the limelight for a bit. It's a very special Pokemon. It's an event driven pokemon as well you usually have to do things to encounter this pokemon also is a really cool pokemon as well just look at it it's, it's, it's a really really cool pokemon i really like it has 92 physical attack 92 special attack and then 108 in physical and special defense it is not a very fast pokemon at all with only 35 speed but obviously is mainly used on like trick room teams as well so this pokemon has a very interesting stat distribution you know having the same on attack and defense um i think if it were to get a mega evolution i think I don't think you can just give it all to the four different stats because I just don't think it would make it any better. I think they would just have to choose some of them and they just make those better. So maybe like the special attack and then the special defense, make it more of a special Pokemon. If you do look at the move pool, it does get a lot of more special um, moves. It obviously gets Nasty Plot as well, which is very, very nice. It does get access to Sucker Punch, which is obviously a physical priority move. So that's always nice. But as you can see, it does get a lot more special moves. So I think that maybe just making it a special Pokemon as a Mega Evolution would be much better. Um, but yeah, Spiritomb, I think, is a huge Pokemon in Sinnoh and definitely needs to get a Mega Evolution. Finishing things off, though, as the last Pokemon I think needs to get a Mega Evolution in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is the Poison fighting type Pokemon, Toxicroak. I really, really like this Pokemon. It's a really, really cool Mon. Uh, being poison fighting though, it is resistant to grass, fighting poison, dark rock, and bug, although it is quad weak to psychic. But it has a very nice attack stat of 106, and then obviously has a speed stat of 85. Now it's very, very fragile as a Pokemon, having only 65 in physical and special defense. But again, this Pokemon's job is not to take hits. It is to come in and just deal some damage. Now, obviously, if it were to get a Mega Evolution, I think it was pretty obvious that it just needs to get a boost in attack and speed um it's already got a really cool typing in poison fighting it looks really cool i think that it, it is definitely um a pokemon that is very worthy of a mega evolution and i 100 can see it happening a lot more than other pokemon on this list tugs croak definitely would be a cool mega evolution though let me know what you think about it with that though it does wrap up today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy it uh, if you did, drop a like. Let's try and hit 500. Leave a comment. What Pokemon would you love to see get a Mega Evolution in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? And subscribe if you're brand new. Got to be keeping you up to date with everything to do with the new games coming out this year and next year. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.